Hello, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. Probably no honored guests to speak of will be need this tutorial, but I'm just going to try to give a little introduction to how to navigate into the content that you want in your from your pathway, how to get there and how to get back, and, and the steps to really complete a little part of a project and continue along in the process. So first of all, I'm going to recommend doing this on a desktop computer. I use Firefox or Google Chrome on my desktop computer. I haven't tried it in other browsers, but it does work on those. But if you have a but tablet computers and mobile phones, there are some incompatibility issues with those small screens that might make it difficult the first time. So do it on desktop the first time. After that, you can try on other screens. So I'm going to first of all go to toastmasters.org and log in. I have my email and username. You're going to have to get that from your club and possibly reset it if you've forgotten. Now, once I'm logged in, I want to go to Pathways. So I'll go to this menu about Pathways, and I will go to Basecamp. That's where my content, my pathway, is going to live. If you haven't, cho if you haven't picked a pathway yet, you will want to choose a path here. And talk with your VPE. I believe that you have to confirm that path with them before continuing. But once you have a path, you go to Basecamp. So here it is showing my effective coaching pathway. I've only got one pathway open, so it's just this one. So I'm going to want to open curriculum. Now these buttons with the drop downs on them are going to happen a lot. So there is some additional steps that are hidden in the drop down sometimes, but oftentimes you can just click the button and get started. Here we are. Now I'm inside my pathway. I'm in, in effective coaching. You can see that I've completed my icebreaker. I've completed my evaluation and feedback and speeches. You may be, probably are on the first, the, the, somewhere in here and not all of them completed. So pick the one that you're going to do next and go to launch. For me, I'm going to just go through the icebreaker again. Before you launch, sorry, you're going to want to check your ad blocker and turn off blocking on the Toastmasters.org site and the Toastmasters.csod.com site. There is, it does open up another window frequently to provide you with the content, so that's why the, the, the ad blocker often comes up. Now you may even get a message on this window that says, please turn off your ad blockers. It's for that reason. Once you go to launch, it's going to open up a smaller window. It takes a little bit. You may have to load because it's loading some slides and images. All right, so that's the end for me. I'm gonna navigate back to the beginning, which is what you'll see. Here you see the pathways slide, the first pathway slide, and it's talking about navigation, just telling you how to use the slides. Unfortunately, this window is too small. It is not showing enough. So take this, the first thing to do is always to take this window and expand it. Now we've got all of the stuff that we need here at the back and forward buttons. So this is actually going to be the first slide you get to begin. So it's telling you about navigation. There are a few resources that you'll get access to throughout the slides. You'll get links to PDFs. Usually you'll have a speech outline and you'll always have an evaluation form somewhere in the slides. Those are useful PDFs to print out and use as you wish. So just for example, I have to click directions to get access to this, but Clicking the project checklist will open up another window with my icebreaker checklist. Talking about scheduling with the VPE and the various steps that they're in. Now, my window's gone, so I have to alt tab back to get back to the slides. Here's a self evaluation quiz, which you're going to do before and after. No one else really sees that, so it's totally up to you how you evaluate that. 
I recommend just doing an honest evaluation. So maybe three years down the line, you can look back at that and be like, oh, I didn't know anything, but now I know. Now I'm good at speaking, uh, public speaking. Obviously, I'm not that great, considering the tongue twister I just made. All right, so here is the icebreaker speech outline. You're going to almost always have a speech outline, which helps all the various things that you could fill out. I recommend printing out a hard copy on paper, just because it's not too hard to lose the lose a PDF where you filled out the information in the digital form. Let's keep on going. Here's again, there's lots of content in here. I have already read it, so I'm gonna skip ahead to after. Now we're at the point where it's after your speech. This is telling you what will happen after. You haven't done your speech yet. So again, you get the checklist again, and you get the evaluation criteria and the evaluation resource. So let's click on that. This is the form that you're going to give to the person evaluating you in each speech. If you can't get access, easy access to the specific like icebreaker evaluation form or if, or feedback evaluation form or research evaluation form, that may not be too big of a deal because early on there, there's a lot of similarities. So it, it's much better to have any form than it is to worry about the specific form. But in each project, there will be a specific form. All right, so let's go back to the slides. Again, I have to Alt-Tab. When I clicked a PDF, it opened it in a different area. This is the final assessment quiz and the final slide of the Icebreaker project and any project. You have to get to this slide in your pathway before pathway says, okay, now you can mark this project as completed. You've got to go from slide one to slide end, ending slide, and then pathway says, oh, okay, you've at least looked at these slides, so you're ready to complete. So, at this point, I've, quote, completed the icebreaker project. I haven't done my speech, but when I do my speech, I will have an option here on this button to mark as completed my icebreaker and move right on to evaluation and feedback. Do the same process there. So there's three things that I want to mention here. Your browser matters. Again, do it on desktop at least the first time to get a sense of how you navigate. It's always going to be the same navigation going into your pathway, going into your specific project, getting your speech stuff. But the slides are not easy to navigate on a mobile phone, for example, as you might imagine. And they're not especially easy on a tablet either. This window that opens up has some issues in that regard. You always have to expand it to get access to all of the little bits, all of the buttons and navigation they need. What else? Just one final note, and that is, this is a very self-directed process. So you are gonna be the one responsible for saying, okay, I've got my outline, I've got my evaluation form, I've printed these out, I've done my due diligence, I've prepared, now I'm ready to schedule my speech with my VPE, and now I'm ready to do my speech. And then, after you've done that, you're also the one who comes back in here and says, oh, I'm done. With the, with the exception of when you transition out of level one, out of level two, between levels, you're going to have a, a button down here that says, okay, let my VPE know I'm done with this level so that he or she can recognize that you're moving on and know where you are in Pathways and keep on going. Well, I've been Roy Ronalds with Peer to Peer Toastmasters. I hope I helped. Feel free to reach out and ask any questions about the process if you can. Thank you.